Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I'm back with brand new video of Apex Trigger series. In today's video, we are going to work on another interesting trigger scenario. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Now let's talk about today's scenario. In today's scenario, we have a field of checkbox type on account object. Now the requirement is on updation or insertion of an account record, if the user checked the checkbox, then a related contact should be created on that account with same phone as accounts phone. So let's start with creating a trigger. Name it create related contact. But the question is on which object we should create this trigger. See, we have two objects account and contacts. The best way to determine on which object we should create our trigger is by checking that on which object change is happening. I mean which object is triggering the code. For example, whenever we check the checkbox, the code will be executed or triggered. Therefore, because of change on the field of account object, our trigger will be executed. That's why our trigger will be on account object. So let's write account. Next question is, which trigger events should we use here? To answer that question, let's recall scenario one more time. In this scenario, a related contact should be created whenever user check the checkbox on account. So in this, basically we want to insert a related record. Therefore, in this type of scenario, in which we are inserting a related record or we want to change a related record field, we will always go with after event. And in this case, we will use after event with insert and update operation. So let's write after insert and after update. Now we want this trigger to be executed only on after insert and after update operation, not on any other operation. So for that, let's apply a check like this. Trigger dot is after. And trigger dot is insert is update. Now the code inside this if condition will only be executed if these three will return true. Let's apply a null check over trigger dot new and iterate over it. Trigger dot new dot is empty. Let's iterate over it. new. Now we will check that whether checkbox is checked or not and if it is checked then we will create a contact on it. So we will check the checkbox value like this. This is the API name of checkbox field. If it is true, which means if it is checked, then we will create a contact. New contact. Test. And its last name will be equal to accounts name. We have given first name and last name of contact. Now we have to link it with this account. For that, we need to provide account ID of this account. Let's update account ID. It will be equal to this account. Also, this contact's phone must be same as parent's account phone. So let's give the value to phone also. Must be equal to Now it is a best practice to bulkify code. So for that, what we will do, we will create a new list and we will add these contacts in that list. And after that, we will perform DML operation on that list. So let's create a list. Contact list to insert cone.
copy this name and add this contact in this list apply a null check over this list is empty and now perform DML operation save it and deploy it okay it is successfully deployed now it's time to check working of our trigger for that let's create an account with checkbox checked name it create cone let's give value to phone also and check the checkbox click on save so a contact has been created with same accounts phone which means our trigger is working fine for insert operation now we will check our trigger for one more scenario that what will happen if we will insert an account without checking the checkbox for that let's create another account create cone 2 ok checkbox is not checked click on save so no contact has been inserted on this account so our trigger is good to go now it's time to check for update operation for that what we will do we will check the checkbox of this account click on edit check the checkbox click on save see a contact has come with same phone as accounts phone which means our trigger is working fine for update operation also so that's it for today guys if you have any suggestion or any scenario for me then please comment i would love to hear feedback from you and in future videos i will upload more complex trigger scenarios thank you